Hey, what's up, guys? I take Kelpin here coming at you with the WWDC recap. Now, they announced a lot of big stuff at WWDC, and Steve Jobs was there. Um, it was a lot of rumors that Steve Jobs wasn't going to be there, but he was there. And they announced iOS 5, OS X Lion, and iCloud. So, without further ado, um, get into all of this. Alright guys, so first I'm going to start with OS X Lion. So OS X Lion is going to come with 250 new features, mostly touch ejectors, and full screen applications for iPhoto, iMovie, and Safari. So what that means is you'll be able to see the application full screen. You won't be able to see your dock or anything else. It will come with Mesh Control, Launchpad, and what Launchpad is, it's kind of like uh, this a little screen where you can see all your applications at once. So you don't have to go to a folder or anything. Um, it'll come to a resume feature where you can resume any application. This is how you left it. So if you quit and open back up and resume, this is how you left it. And all this would be for twenty nine ninety nine. And that's the big thing about Mac OS Lion that it's gonna be under thirty bucks. So I think everybody gonna be able to get this. They usually like with Windows, it used to be like a hundred, two hundred dollars, but this would be be for 30 bucks so I think a lot more people is going to be moving to OX Lion and I will be picking this up and it will be coming through the Mac App Store for 4 gigabytes you just going to download it for 4 gigabytes on your Mac and all this will be available in July so that's pretty much all the big things that come with um, OX X Lion when we talk about iOS 5, they did a lot with iOS 5 at the WWDC. They did overhaul the notification for iOS 5, so you now have the ability to slide down and to see all your notifications on your iOS device and be able to see all your notifications on your lock screen. They did integrate Twitter a little bit more into iOS 5, so now you can just sign in through your general settings app to be signed into all your Twitter application and you will be able to go to the camera app and tweet out photos that you just taken. Um they did a couple other things but I don't want to make this video too long to iOS 5. So um they did sync it up to a cloud a little bit more but I'm gonna get more into that later because I ain't gonna be talking about iCloud. Now iOS 5 will be coming in the fall and it will be coming to iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, of course, the iPad 1, and the iPad 2, and the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation. So that's pretty much big things that happened with iOS 5, but now I'm getting to iCloud, which is everybody been waiting for. Alright guys, now I'm going to be going over iCloud. Now iCloud was like the main event of WWDC, and I'm going to tell you what iCloud does. It I may upload and stores your information and push it to all devices so that mean like if you working on a document on your iPad you be able to upload it to the cloud and it would come back to your iPhone or iPod touch so that's really cool and all of this is effortless so this means you don't have to do it it would do this on its own you also do this with your purchase music your iBooks your photos your video and device settings and app data so if you plan so if you got a high score on one on on an app and you had the same app on your iPod or iPod Touch, I mean iPad or iPod Touch, you will still have the same data on all your devices together. So I really like all of this. Um, it's no advertising on it, so it was a lot of rooms that it was gonna be advertising. All of this will be free, and you can sync this up with your Mac also, and this. As I said before, all would be free. And the music part of it is really big. And I'm gonna go over photo sharing real quick where you could take over take up to a thousand photos and upload it to the cloud and it'll store for thirty days. So that's really cool. I mean iCloud is a lot to go over about iCloud and I'm not gonna go over all of it. I'm just gonna leave the articles to all these things below. I'm just gonna wrap up this video. So that's pretty much it for all this stuff, iCloud, OX, Lion, and um, iOS 5. If you want to read more about it, I will have a link below. And that's pretty, much it to, uh, this, that's pretty much it for this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, guys, bye.